Alright, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Brock. You're watching another epic, amazing, awesome episode of the Unboxing Authority. And on this episode, we have this projection alarm clock. Alright, and I'm not sure exactly how this works. It says it's alarm clock snooze, uh, 12, 24 hour. It has focal length adjustment, I guess. Dimmer, temperature, 6.3 inch display. FM radio, time projection, and USB charger port. Okay, make sure you guys can see all that here. Okay, let's get this open and see what's in here. Now, this should be a USB cable. Yep, so I'm guessing this runs off USB. It's got a USB power pack, power supply. And we have, um, okay, so there's like barcodes here for setting stuff. Oh, to learn. So if you want to use a manual here, you're supposed to scan the barcodes to see online how to do each thing. But there is also uh, labels in here that show uh, what the buttons do on the clock. So there you go. All right, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we can accomplish here. This feels very lightweight. It's supposed to have like, I think a rechargeable battery in it or something, possibly. I don't know. Oh, it's all covered in all kinds of plastic to protect the screen. I, I will say, you know, it's nice when things arrive and they're not banged up. That's really good. But some, some things don't need plastic like this. This guy right here. I don't know if he needed a plastic bag or not. I guess it depends on the environment where it's being shipped from, but, you know, how long it's sitting in storage. Okay, this thing, so this is the power supply. It says it outputs 5 volts at 1.5 amps, 1,500 milliamps. So apparently that's about how much this needs. Now, it does have its own included uh, antenna here for radio, which you can uncoil and put somewhere. It has a charge output, so you can hook up. Uh, your devices to this and charge them although again I don't know how much power this thing uses so this is not going to use the 1500 it's going to charge the devices we got the time projector here on the left uh, your right I guess the right side of the unit and it comes up um, it also has this little watch battery that's going to tell us um, you know it's going to keep the time so I'm going to have to open the cover on the back before I can pull out the tab for the battery, reinsert it face down, so like the, the positive side's facing, actually facing up. Sorry. And, uh, cause that's what was in there anyway. We're gonna put that in, we're gonna close this, and then what that does is if the power goes out, the clock should keep its time. So, if everything's working right. I don't know how to... Okay, open is that way, closed is... Okay, it's closed. Now, it has a focus here for the projector when it goes up to the thing. Now, because my um, because I'm a long ways away from power source, I'm just going to use a really long USB cable to hook this up and try it out. And we'll show you guys up close and personal all the buttons. Let's see here. So, where's my really long USB cable? There it is. And I've got a USB Type-C adapter on it, but that's not what this uses. It uses micro USB. Uh, here's, let's see if I can get up real close real quick, just so you guys can see this without me having to zoom in. So there it is, there's the back side. All the fun stuff. Here's the front when it's not plugged in, it's nice and shiny. The top has a bunch of buttons there. And we're going to plug this in and get going. So, the back has time set, 20, 12, 24 hours Celsius Fahrenheit, bright, brightness, uh, 190 degree flip. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Now, I don't know how all this is going to work because we are in a rural community where it's hard to get radio stations and I have not had, uh, I think they only had one product somebody sent me actually pick up a radio station here in town. Um, there it is. Okay, so let's zoom into that and then I'll get it all set up here. So, where's our zoom? Okay, there it is. Without the projector on, our light on our camera came on. It doesn't like... It doesn't like me, it's saying we're not bright enough or something. Now, this is a white display for those who care. Let's go ahead and select the brightness. Okay, so you can, so here's dim, here's bright, dimmer, 
dim. So on the lowest setting you can't see it at all as far as I can tell. Uh, I don't know how we turn on this projector over here. We're going to have to figure all that out using our instructions I guess. Let's see, 180 degree flip. Try to reflect the time off of this box. Where did the, I had it. Hey, it's 12.04. There's backwards, there's your way so you guys can see it. That looks pretty cool, I think. All right, so there's how powerful the projector light is. You see it on the ceiling or wherever there. Now, if I tilt this backwards towards me, then maybe it will show up better for you guys. I don't know. I'm going to try try to do the best I can. All right, so if the lights were out, I'm sure this would look a lot better. You, you see that it works. That's That's the main thing. All right, so turn off the projector light. How do we do that? Okay, the snooze button also works for the projector light, just so you know. Now, we do have the focus, so when I get it going, if I could see it on the ceiling, there's a focus. I can kind of see it even with all these lights on. Oh, yeah. We're going to definitely have to try that with the lights out. Okay. All right, so there's our time on the ceiling, and it's actually not overwhelmingly bright. The other thing, um, I can try to focus it a little better while we're recording here, but um, the other thing is... Like I said, you know, if you're sleeping or something, this doesn't look like it's going to bother you. Whereas normally most lights, when I'm trying to sleep, they're just so bright they bother me. This actually seems pretty pleasant. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move this up as close as it would be if it was sitting on a table stand or something. But we've got this focus here, and I'm going to see if we can, if that helps. So I'm going to turn it. Okay, that's the sharp sharp focus there. Okay, so there's, it's actually as close as it would be if it was sitting on my nightstand right now uh, to the ceiling. So it's smaller, but it's, you know, it's brighter. I'm going to take it back down and see about this focus. If that's, oh, come on, focus. Looks like it's just getting worse. So I'm going to set it down here and take a look. Focus. Yeah, focusing I got cranked all the way one direction and that's pretty much it there. I guess I could go ahead and bend it down and put it on our green screen, but that's pretty dim compared to the ceiling because the ceiling's kind of white. So there it is. I think, I think that's pretty cool. I've never had a projector clock before and um, I think this one's pretty neat. As far as what it can do there I, and I'm not sure you know I might have to give this a try the one thing I will tell you is if the power goes out and you don't have some sort of interruptible power supply like a you know USB plug in through it or something uh, like I mean a USB uh, power pack or something that can charge and be used at the same time then this will go out while you're sleeping and it will keep the time and everything but the alarm won't go off in the morning so that's one of the things i like about battery powered ones now again i don't even know who sent this clock to me you guys want to see what it looks like when the lights are out let's go look down at our clock come on now there it is okay so here's what the clock looks like with the lights out we'll go ahead and zoom into that real quick so you guys can see it but you know i think it's Pretty nice. I mean, it's a big screen, and uh, it's easy to tell the time. I mean, if I was asleep and I wanted to look at this, I could definitely tell the time. And of course, you can dim it. So let's go ahead and see if I can find uh, that dim light real quick. That dim button. So you gotta use a light so I can see it. Let's go back behind here and find where it says dim. It says bright. Okay, now it's. Now it's set dimmer, so that's its medium, and then the other one's just off, I think. Go ahead and look at it on the lower setting, but I think I think that's about as dim as it gets before it just turns off. Now it's looking more like Back to the Future, isn't it, through the camera there. You can see it's dimmer on the edges. That's kind of cool, nostalgic look. Let's go ahead and punch that bright button one more time and see if it just completely goes out, because I couldn't, yeah. See, I punched the bright button one more time. And it's gone. The only thing we have now is the projector light at the ceiling. It's the only thing I can see right now. So definitely going to have to uh, hit that brightness button again to bring it back. And you are supposed to be able to charge other devices with this clock. But uh, anyways, I think it's pretty cool. 
And, uh, you know, I guess if you only have one USB port you want to use, you know, or you plug this into the wall and you want to charge your phone off of it or something, especially if you're living alone, um, you know, that's going to be great because you charge your phone off of it while you're sleeping and you got this going and everything. Um, I think it's, it's a pretty good deal. Well, anyways, thanks so much for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. May Jesus bless you. Please click the links in the description of the video and consider going to our Patreon. Go to ChristianCourts.com. And that noise means it is time to go check on my grandma. All right.